for for Yamamoto specifically. He's making his debut, Major League debut, Dodgers debut uh, against the Padres. He's playing in Korea. Pump, circumstance, a lot. Moment maybe got big for him. Um, who knows? But am I worried? That's the question of of one of three yellow flags we have from this series. Am I worried about Yoshinobu Yamamoto? Not yet. It's one game. People have bad starts to their season and rebound. A couple years ago, Noah Syndergaard had a nice start to a season, and it all went down the shitter from there. I like the note from my guy, our friend Jeff Snyder of Locked On Dodgers. He had the tweet. I didn't load up the tweet here, but he said uh, he noted Hideo Nomo allowed seven earned runs in, well, it's his second career start, and had four starts of five plus earned runs in his rookie year. Still did go on to win the rookie of the year that year. Says you Darvish allowed five twice, six twice, and seven twice in his rookie year. Today it was really bad for Yamamoto, but he's not dead yet. We got a lot of baseball left to be played, and we got a whole secondary um, opening day to be played for Yoshi Nobu Yamamoto Yamasan. The next one, the bullpen. This is almost maybe a red flag. It's definitely a yellow flag. The the ace guys in game one looked. Good. They did what they were supposed to do. Uh, supposed to do. Dan Hudson throws a scoreless. Uh, Joe Kelly throws a scoreless. Drops in a couple of Ks. Evan Phillips locks down the game. Does what he's supposed to do. Today, or well, I mean, shit, it is today. Whoo, long day, huh? Um, Michael Grove, who is the last guy in that bullpen, would not be there if Bruce Dark Gratterall was healthy. Would not be there if Blake Trinan was healthy. He comes in, gives up a four spot in relief of Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Does not help the situation. JP Fireisen, not a very good Dodger debut. Everybody gave up a run. Let's see. I want to look at the numbers again. Um, Not a very good show for the bullpen. And this was something I was already kind of pre-talking to um, Alana Rizzo about. And we'll probably be talking about it together uh, next week at some point. You got to look at that bullpen. One blank, one blank there, one out from Gus Farland to end the game. Um, yeah, it's 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 not the uh, it's not the situation you want to see from that bullpen. It will get better. It's definitely going to get better as you see uh, Blake Trinan get back and get healthy. As you see. Um, and the other guy whose name I just mentioned, Blue Bruce Gratterall, who is one of their primary setup guys, being back and healthy and on the active roster. So, again, right now, bullpen, kind of a yellow flag for me. Well, side note, as, a, as to throw in kind of a, a positive here, my guy Gavin Lux, fine. Looked fine. That's all we want. That's literally all you want out of Gavin Lux. Drops a couple of knocks, gets over um, – not even a rough offer in game one because it was a productive offer from Gavin Lux. So just Gav, you do you. I'm not going to talk about you. That's going to be my gift to Gavin Lux. I'm not going to talk about him. But before I talk about Max Muncy, I did see Super Chat from Diane Schroeder again. Thank you, Diane. $5 Super Chat saying, if not for the double play ball going through the glove in game one, we could have lost both games. I mean, that game was tied at that point. Um, they would have had what? Or No, that would have been it. Yeah, the, the double play definitely would not have helped the situation. We would have gotten deeper into the bullpen and maybe saw that. Definitely reality. Thankfully, we're, we're not playing hypotheticals here. The, the Dodgers do come out of this um, 0-2 or 1-2 because you got one win and then one loss and then a loss of Ipe. So they're 1-2 and two so far this season. But, yeah, JR even says it in there too. Dodgers almost got swept. Things, uh, you know, they didn't. That's the important part. Thank God they didn't, I guess. I mean, it wouldn't matter that much early in the season. Yeah, another Super Chat from our guy, Richard Flores. Thank you so much, Richard. Four ninety nine five dollars $5 Super Chat. Thank you much. He says, I put no stock in these games. We got a split. No one got hurt. We also observed that Max Muncy on defense can't catch a cold. Woof. All right, let's talk the Max Muncy. That's your other yellow flag. Um... A couple of those plays, one of them was a straight botch job. 
the one going a little bit to his left, he, that was a botch. That was straight up a botch. The the one down the line that some people are saying he could have got to, he maybe could have got to, it looked like it took a funky hop, the Camposano um, high chopper. Maybe could have got to it, maybe not. Um, and then, uh, well, I can't remember the other one. I think it was another one to, to his left that just kind of came up on him and he, he couldn't get to. Like that, the coming up on him, that's one I'll sort of attribute to the playing surface. But maybe that's me giving a little bit too much credit. People who have been watching me for a long time know one of my chief concerns was Max Muncy at third base. And I've tried to be positive about it. I've tried to be more open about the idea that he can figure it out. He played. He's one of my guys that I, I praised before they took the team took off to Korea. He looked really decent enough. He looked passable. He looked average enough playing third base in spring training. There's a lot of day games in spring training. I don't know if it's a visuals thing. I'm sure that plays a role into it. Uh, sometimes if you can't see the baseball that's hit, it's kind of difficult to make the plays. Um, we won't throw a lot of, you know, there's no reason to wildly speculate on the Max Muncy situation. Right now, I'm just kicking the can down the road for Max. I don't, I don't look at this as a, match, a massive issue yet. I think he's going to be pissed. Maybe could have been awarded three errors, uh, got the two. One of them was a straight-up error. The other one, kind of a tough play. A better defender gets it for sure. But Max Muncy's who they have. They're not going to change that. And, you know, there's going to be the there's going to be the people who, the same way people are arguing for Gavin Lux's bat in the lineup and that being more important than getting a better defender or a more accomplished defender at shortstop instead of moving Mookie Betts to shortstop. There's going to be the people who say, and rightfully so, you know, you take a few of those errors for the 36 bombs and 100 RBIs. Um, all fair points. I take defense wherever I can, but also you need to have some offense to be able to win some games. And Max, so far, has looked fine at the plate in the two games hitting 333 in his uh in his two games um taking some walks but the defense will definitely continue to be a, a question will continue to be a challenge and at some point we i mean if we're seeing the dodgers pull a plug on gavin lux as soon as they did like after only a few games um you could see a reality where if the dodgers have a lead Max Muncy has a defender take his spot late in the game at third. That's probably going to be the smart play. You have a few premium defenders who could take that, especially Miguel Rojas, Jazz Chisholm's best friend. Um, but those are the concerns. Those are your yellow flags. Again, I don't see any red flags from this series. You don't see red flags in two games. Yamamoto maybe won just because of his spring training, had that ERA near eight and a half, but... He's still figuring things out. He's still going to have his nerves. I would be pretty damn nervous if I just signed the most uh, lucrative deal for a pitcher uh, in terms of contract value in baseball history. Hell, I was nervous enough going on to foul territory this morning to announce a show that I do every day or we do twice a week or whatever the hell it is. I do this, but it's still just like, you know, you get the, the moment the lights change. They get a little bit different sometimes in those situations. Not worried about Yamamoto. He's done it. He's won. He's pitched in big games. He will be fine. It's one start.